This video explains how to apply the range function to get the maximum and minimum values of a data object. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples. And in the first example, I want to show you how to apply the range function to a numeric vector. And for that reason, we first need to create an example vector, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new data object called xnum is appearing at the top right. And we can print this vector object to the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a new vector object containing 10 different numbers. Now let's assume that we want to return the minimum and maximum values of this data object. Then we can apply the range function to our data object, as you can see in line five of the code. So as you can see within the range function, we simply need to specify the name of our data object. So in this case, our data object is called xnum. And then after running line five of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the minimum value one and the maximum value 10 are returned. So in this first example, I have explained how to apply the range function to a numeric vector. However, it's also possible to apply this function to a character vector. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line seven of the code. So in line seven, I'm first creating another example data object. And after running this line of code, the new example data object XCHA is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see that we have created a character vector which contains different letters. Now, if we apply the range function to this vector, as you can see in line 10 of the code, you can see that the minimum value in terms of alphabetical order and the maximum value also in terms of alphabetical order is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. So the first letter of our vector is the letter A and the last letter of our vector is the vector J. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.